Okay, here we go. Here's another review for you. C -c 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 Coming at ya. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I've got another scooter from High Boy, and if you've been with me for a while, you know that I actually really like this company. In fact, High Boy was one of the first uh, scooter companies that I reviewed back about three or four years ago. So I've got a long history with these guys and I keep on reviewing their scooters and their products because they actually make some quality stuff for the price tag. Now the S2 Max costs $799, that's the one I'm reviewing today. And in this price range of $500 to $1,000 single motor scooters, I reviewed 12 other brands. So there's a ton of competition here, uh, but I think the High Boy is gonna hold up very well, at least it has in the past. Let's see how it does starting off with the speed test. Well, the Max has a 500 watt motor in the rear wheel, and there's a couple other brands that have that same size motor. So it's one of the bigger motors in this, for this price range. Uh, and that's powered with a 48 volt, 11.6 amp hour battery that takes six hours to recharge. And that's also the second largest battery for a scooter in this price range. It's time to see how that power translates to speed. This is the speed test. The uh, scooter has a rating, a speed rating up to 19 miles per hour. Now most scooters in this price range top out about 18 miles per hour. So gonna find out if we can beat that. Uh, there's three speed modes. I'm gonna show you how fast it goes on each of the three modes. Well, this is the speed test. I have four of the six battery bars left. So around 65, you know, 70% speed up open. Gonna start on eco mode first and see how fast we can get this thing going. Okay, it looks like eco is topping out about nine, 10 miles an hour. This is medium, this is drive. Second mode is about 13, 14 miles an hour. And then the, the final gear is, uh, or final mode is 17, 18 miles an hour. Well, I didn't quite hit 19 miles per hour, which is the rating of the scooter. Uh, I briefly hit 18 for a second. Most of it was 17 miles an hour, so we'll say 17.5. There's a good separation between the three uh, speed modes, so you have a wide range of speed between eco, medium, and sport. Now, most scooters in this price range take 10 seconds to hit 15 miles per hour. It's time to see how fast the max is. This is the acceleration test. Now it doesn't uh, weigh that much. It's only 41 pounds, which is average for a scooter in this price range, uh, but it does have one of the lower carrying capacities at 220 pounds. I'm 185 pounds. Gonna crank it up to the highest speed mode on a flat stretch road and see if we can beat that uh, 10 second mark. Well, for this test, I have four of the six battery bars left. My speed up open. I'm on the highest speed mode. A little kick to get going. Kind of slow for the first 10 or so feet. Power starting to kick on now. Already up to 15, over 50 miles an hour. And that's pretty much it. Looks like it's gonna max out about 17 here. Doesn't quite want to get to 18. Oh, there's 19 all of a sudden. <laughs> so that's gonna be one of the faster accelerations for a scooter in this price range. The Max has a range rating of 40 miles. Typically, I usually get uh, half of that. And for scooters in this price range, it's anywhere from 10 to 15 miles. If 15 is actually pretty good. <laughs> so gonna uh, crank it up to the highest speed mode. I've got a uh, nice paved trail as you can see behind me. And this is a very hilly trail as well. So gonna have some good elevation gain and uh, see how long this thing can go. thing about High Boy is how solid and sturdy they feel. It's super quiet. There's no rattling or shaking, even at higher speeds. I've gotten this up past 25 miles per hour and it just glides. It's super smooth. All of their scooters, including this one, are just well balanced. I've got no problem taking my hand off the grips, off the handlebars. It just feels like a quality scooter. And there's pretty much zero noise coming from the motor, even when climbing. The handlebars are actually pretty narrow with every high boy scooter that I've reviewed, and that's the same with this one. I'd like to see a little bit longer length there, maybe two or three inches longer. But the grips actually feel kind of nice. Some of the nicer feeling grips for a scooter in this price range. The thumb throttle does feel kind of cheap. It's uh, not the best feeling plastic, but there is a rubber pad on it. As far as the throttle sensitivity, 
it's actually pretty responsive. I don't have to press it that much to feel the power come on, maybe about a quarter of an inch. And then when I'm going, you know, nine, 10 miles an hour, if I hit it, uh, there's, it starts to come on a, in a couple seconds. It does take a little bit. And then releasing it, it instantly turns off. So there is a longer delay with the power when you're you know, going about 10 miles an hour. And then just like a lot of bike throttles, if you barely press it, uh, the power will just gently come on. So the power matches how much you actually press the throttle. Brake lever is also pretty cheap filling too, but you don't have to put a lot of pressure to engage the brakes. Well, as far as the stem height, I really like that. These guys have always had a very high stem. I'm 5'11 and don't have to reach down that far to grab it. And it's not angled back very much either. It's almost straight up and down. So there's a lot of room between my waist and the handlebars. And done about 10 miles so far and haven't had any stem wobble, which is nice. Uh, I do like their locking mechanism that they have. Uh, and to fold it down is pretty easy. You just undo the safety switch, pull the lever, and it collapses pretty quick and easy. And then just attaches to the rear fender. Well, this has also got a nice long deck on it. I've got size 10 and a half shoes, as most of you guys know, and I can fit my feet one in front of the other. And then if I turn my foot uh, 90 degrees, it does hang off about on each side about two inches. So it's not the fattest. The Max doesn't have any suspension, but it does have two 10 inch air filled tires. It's actually a very comfortable ride. There's very little vibration. And I've hit some parts of the trail and road and then even sidewalk lines where, you know, I can feel the bumps, but you don't have those tiny, you know, vibrations that you get with those solid tires that just make your feet go numb after <laughs> a block or two. You know, with no suspension, the bigger bumps, they do rock you a little bit. Just kind of take those slow or I like to puff the tire when I transition from road to sidewalk. That kind of helps with the, the, the blow. Okay, I just got uh, back to my car. Range test is done. My app recorded 16 miles with almost 1,200 feet of elevation gain, which is pretty awesome. That is a lot of climbing for a single motor scooter. Now, there were some hills that I did uh, help it out on. For the most part, it was doing all of the climbing, all of the work. Uh, now on the uh, screen, on the scooter, that does show two battery bars left. They're both colored red. Uh, they actually are always red, even with the full charge. It just shows up red. And I still have some pretty good power left over. Uh, so I think I probably could have got 17, 18, 19 miles uh, if I kept on going on some flat terrain, um, which is just a fantastic, fantastic range for that elevation gain. So now you guys know what the Max can do. That is, that is a pretty impressive scooter. I couldn't find a torque rating for the motor for the Max, but uh, on the website it does say you can climb up to a 20% grade hill. I've got many hills to choose from. Let's see how it does. Okay guys, I got a good size hill. And again, my measuring device. And this is probably about a half a block long. There's a steep section, two steep sections, kind of flattens out in the middle. Uh, before I uh, reach the top. So let me just show you what it is down below. That is, that already is pretty steep, 14.4%. I am wondering if the scooter is gonna be able to do this. I think this is gonna be over 20%. But uh, that's what's fun about the job is get to test out these vehicles to the limits. And this is a steep section here. This has gotta be the steepest part of the hill. And that is 22% on the dot. That's 2% over what it's rated for. And then again, it flattens out here and then another bump up there. And that's about the same steepness as this. Look, and I'm out of breath. <laughs> Scooter's down there. Gonna hop on it and see how it does. Okay, I'm on the highest speed mode. I've got my speed app open and I have two of the six battery bars gone. So around 65% battery life. I am gonna have a little running start at this and uh, see how it does. Here we go. So it dips down here before it starts to climb. And now we're climbing. And it's dropping fast. This is the 22% uh, grade here. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. That's five, four, three. Yeah, 
give a little help here. And now we're cruising seven, six. This is the other steep part. The motor sounded pretty good though. You know, it's not really making super heinous noises, but definitely can't take my weight up the 22% grade. Again, this is, uh, it's got a <laughs> hill rating of 20%. I think for me, that might even be a little bit less. Uh, typically these single motor scooters, I can do about a 15%. Anything above that, it's just a little bit too hard for it. Now it's time to see how well the, the Max can brake. It's got a drum brake in the front wheel and also electric brakes with regen braking. Gonna go down the same hill. I just came up with a hill test and test those out. Okay, let's see how well these brakes do. This is a fairly steep hill, lightly pressing. No pulsating, I can hear some grinding. If I really squeeze on them. That's got some good power and there was no sliding, no skidding at all. So I've actually tried to um, slide the, or um, skid the tires and I haven't been able to. So really nice brakes, continue down the hill. Little water section here, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let me show you the uh, pad and LCD screen here. Power button is right in the middle, and it is flickering on film, but it doesn't in real life. <laughs> so that's just a product of my phone. But uh, double press to change the speed modes. And again, you have Eco Drive and Sports. Single press to turn on the lights, and. The light is up here just behind the screen. And then there's also a tail light. And that's pretty much it. The Max has an IP4 waterproof rating, a one year warranty, and ships in about one to three days. Okay guys, well, uh, I, I think High Boy has done it again. This is a fantastic scooter. It rides like all the other models I've tried of theirs. Just very solid and stable filling scooter. It just feels more expensive than what it actually is. And the range and elevation gain that I got on that is just fantastic. That is, that's a <laughs> killer scooter. For 800 bucks, I have no problem recommending that. If you do wanna pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all of my reviews sorted by price and capability. I'll have that in the description as well. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. That's a lot of doggies. Sorry. Part the doggies like the Red Sea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>